Hi, welcome to the 3D Pendant. Happy Halloween! It's time for another Halloween project. Let's make a spider. I am going to work on a surface that I can spin around so I can always turn the project where I can reach it wherever I need it. Draw or print your spider and tape it down so it stays put. Over that you will need to tape some 3D pen friendly work surface. This is a treated plexiglass and if you need to know more about what to treat it with, watch my two videos on surfaces. The links are in the description. I will show you two ways how to form a simple 3D shape the folding method and the more common addition building method. The folding method is a bit more precise, so let's start with it. You will need a work surface that bends in the middle, right over the center axis of the design. Like so. Always remove the side that has been on the surface longer and had a time to cool. The side you just made may be still warm and may deform or just be harder to lift at this point. Alternatively, you can make several half outlines and attach it one by one to a full central outline of your shape. This method is a bit more fussy and can get more messy at the joining points. But it works. Try both methods and use whatever works better for you. They both require a little bit of practice to execute cleanly. So if it's your first time doing it, be patient. If you are planning to make the surface solid, you will need to cover the basic shape with a grid. The grid needs to be dense enough to eventually hold the surface fill on it. So keep adding layers until it is sturdy enough to do so.
want my spider to look a bit hairy. So I will put in my fill with sort of a stippling motion. The trick is to be consistent with whatever fill you decide to cover it with. If there is a spot where the grid is not dense enough to hold the fill, just add more grid, let it cool a bit and keep going. just the legs from the surface and hopefully leave the body attached so it stays stabilized while I bend the legs. I am using my wood burning tool to gently soften the plastic just in the strategic places where I want it to bend. If you don't have a wood burning tool just rub the bend spots with the side of the hot nozzle of your pen without pressing any buttons, of course, and it will do the job. I like to slide in my Teflon sheet under the legs for this step to protect my plexiglass from the heat tool. Never do it straight on the plexiglass, you will ruin it. part that will make your spider run. I use a sinker fishing weight, one or one and a half ounce size, that comes with a hole in the middle. Try to look for fishing weights without lead in it to stay safe. They are out there. The reason these critters roll so well is because of the weight difference between the relatively lightweight plastic and the heavy fishing weight. If you make your spider's body too large and heavy or use a very lightweight oval bead instead of the sinker, it will not run as well. Now it's time to have some fun with your spider. The challenge here is can you make your spider make a three-point turn? Yeah, not quite. Almost. Well, it takes a bit of practice. So, happy Halloween, and until next time, go and make something.